Okay, I am now in video three in the process of setting up your very own ad serving network. In this particular video, we're going to be setting up a MySQL database. This is important for making this process work. So the first thing we're going to do is simply go here and in control panel. So I've logged into it's called C panel or control panel. Um, I'm happen to be using Bluehost. If you're using HostGator, it will also have this. It's highly recommended that if you're doing a lot of internet marketing that you try to find a hosting company with C panel. Most of them offer C panel. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go down here to where it says databases and simply click on MySQL database wizard. And once you click on that, you would just click on New Database. So in this example, we'll just type in OpenX Test, OpenX123, or we'll just type in OpenX, whatever you want to type in, and then click on Next Step. The next step, we're going to create a username. Uh, it can be a max of seven characters. For in this case, we'll say OpenX1212, it looks like. Open X one two, and then password. Uh, we're just gonna put together a quick password. And then next step, and then you're gonna want to click on all privileges, and then click on next step. Now this is the MySQL database wizard, which is found again in the back end of control panel. So it now says user openx12 is added to the database and it gives me the database. It's the first part of my host name so your host name will obviously be different. Uh, the first part of the name and uh, this is it. So what you're going to want to do after you get this information you're going to want to open a quick notepad text file and you're going to want to simply copy copy and paste that information to your notepad file. So this is the database name. And you're going to want to just mark that. And then the user is going to be OpenX12. So the first part of it would be count on you, OpenX12. So and it's they're not always going to be count on you again. It's going to be whatever your main domain is on your server. That's what it's going to be. And then for password, just put in the password you you chose or a reminder of the password. And then we're going to simply click on return to home. And now we have our database all set up. So now that we have set up our database, the next thing we're going to do is work on uploading the files to the web server. So in order to do that, we're going to need to grab a free program called File. Zilla, which is an FTP program. So you're going to go to google.com and you're going to type in file Zilla. And it's going to be the first result. And once you get there, you're going to just simply click on download FileZilla client. And then you'd click on this executable format or in zip format, in which case you would right click and you would select unzip. Uh, I, I usually download this one. I do right click and then I'll select save link target as or save link as to save it to my computer. Um, so at the end of this video, we're going you want to download FileZilla because we are at the end of this video. And then in the next video, we're going to work on um, getting FileZilla set up correctly and then moving the website. Um, to our server, so all the files to our server through FileZilla.